What's, <laughs> what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. I'm here with none other than Amanda Serrano, the Manny Pacquiao of uh, women <laughs> boxing. What's going on, Amanda? How you doing? Good, good, thanks. Now, you have a huge fight coming up. Um, first, before we get to that, you are seven division champion. I stated that you're the Manny Pacquiao women's <laughs> boxing. You know, when, when Manny Pacquiao fights, we always see them say, the only... Wow, you know, I thought right? I was the only one who noticed that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they, always, they always talk about him as the only guy to, or boxer to, you know, achieve these things. But I always question and say, well, what about Amanda? Yeah. Could you just speak on that? They leave you out when they're speaking. It. We know that the equality between men and women boxing yeah. is just not recognize the same, but could you just speak speak to that? You know, I mean, it's, it's hard to hear it. I mean, but, you know, it is male boxing. I don't think they will ever allow females, especially in the sport of boxing, to be one up over, especially Manny Pacquiao. You know, he's, he's a successful boxer. He's, you know, he accomplished a lot in, in his career. So I don't think they will allow a little old girl from Brooklyn to to accomplish what he has or to even be better than him. So I mean, I I did it for my for my own legacy for the island of Puerto Rico. And that's all you can do. And it's amazing because we see guys like Max Kellerman. That's why Max Kellerman he feels that Manny Pacquiao is the greatest boxer of all time because of those accomplishments. But yet you accomplished the same thing. But yet you accomplished the same thing. Yeah, I mean and. Technically, I mean, Manny Pacquiao has won in eight divisions, won, won titles in eight divisions, but six of them were only world titles. Right. So, wink, wink. And then I'm a, a seven, couple of, a I'm couple a seven th division world champion. But you know what? I mean, I did it for, for female boxing. I did it, to, um, like I said before, to leave a legacy. But that's all you can do. You can, you can um, set goals for yourself and accomplish them and be happy with that. Now we saw. I, I saw that you wasn't happy with you know um, the layout. You know you have a three fight deal, and uh, they were setting up a fight between yourself and um, Katie Taylor, um, but she's already getting her fights in, and you weren't getting your fights in, and you weren't happy about that. Uh, and then you wanted to get your fights in before you go into that fight. Yeah. But this fight, this is a big fight going into a fight with. Yeah, this is um. Heather Hardy, yeah. it's not a tune-up fight. No, definitely not a tune-up fight. You know, Heather comes to fight, and um, she, you know, she's an Irish single mom from Brooklyn, and she's a champion, and she's undefeated champion at that, and that's for a reason because she knows how to fight. <laughs> you know, she she comes to fight, and um, yeah, you know, the the winner of September 13th um, will go on to fight Katie Taylor. So I don't look past. I do have a three-fight deal with um, the Zone and Matchroom, so. You know, I'm not going to look past Heather, Heather Hardy for the fight with Katie Taylor. So, well, next, my next opponent is Heather Hardy. Now, what does you guys were sparring partners at one point. Yeah. What do you have to do to disarm her? You, you guys know each other. Yeah. She said a lot of people weren't eager to jump in the ring because of your power. She said that even when you guys were in sparring with big gloves and headgear on, she felt your, pa your power was jolting. Yes. So she said that's the biggest thing that she has to disarm you with. What's the biggest thing that you have to disarm her with to be successful? I just got to go out and <laughs> fight every second of every round because I know she's not going to step back and I just have to keep coming forward and land my punches and just, um, you know, be in great shape. Now, what, where does this fight, what do you guys have to accomplish in this particular fight to get for women's boxing to be recognized as, as men? Is I mean, this one of those fights? We saw Carissa Shields and Christina Hammer. Is this one of those fights that could transcend the sport for it women? Does, I think every, every great female fighter it, fight can, you know, show that we, you know, we deserve to be main event, deserve to make money, you know. We, you know we're always trying to do that. But um, we're going to show that we are two great women from Brooklyn, who are friends that don't need to badmouth each other to go out and put on a hell of a show at MSG and sell tickets and show that, you know, we deserve to be in the limelight and we deserve the, you know, the shots that these men are getting. I thank you. I thank you, champ. Thank Did you just let the people know where to find you? Yes, Instagram and Twitter, Serrano Sisters. And, um, you know, don't miss the fight, September 13th, MSG. If you can't make it to the Garden, make sure you download the, the Zone app. It's going to be a great night of female boxing, I promise you. Thank you, champ. Thank you.